Nataka nimshukuru governor wenu huyu governor Patrick Olentutu. Tumeshirikiana na yeye mambo ya community health promoters. Yeye amepanga vile watalipwa pesa mimi nimepatia wa equipment. Tumekubaliana vile 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 tutasonga hapa mbele pamoja. Na kwa sababu mama wetu Ana amekuwa mgonjwa miaka nyingi niliketi chini na tunai. Akaniambia ile ma milioni imetumika kwa hii family. Sio familia nyingi wako na uwezo ya kuweza kudhibiti mambo ya gharama ya hospitali. Na ndio sababu tumebadilisha sheria Kenya kuhakikisha ya kwamba kila mkenya apate nafasi ya matibabu katika taifa letu la Kenya bila kujali uwezo wao wa kifedha every citizen must have access to medical care and to health facilities without taking into consideration their financial ability na ndio sababu tumepatisha sheria mimi nimekubali kwamba hata kama mambo ya matibabu ni kazi ya counties serikali kuu tutatoa pesa 30% of all equipment we are going to pay as national government so that we can support counties na vile vile tutakuwa na program ambayo tutasaidia counties kama wanahitaji equipment tutawasaidia kupata hiyo equipment we will deploy national government resources and then they can pay over time wanaweza kulipa kwa miaka 5 au miaka 7 lakini huduma ya afya kwa wananchi ipatikane sasa hiyo program tunaanzisha next month and uh, i want to thank uh, patrick because he's already in that ecosystem people who have agreed that we are going to work together for the benefit of the people of Kenya. Huyu mama Ana alikuwa na mpango mzuri kwa watoto wake. Alihakikisha kwamba kuna chakula. Alihakikisha kwamba wamesoma. Alihakikisha kwamba wako na matibabu mahali walikuwa naweza na mambo yale mengine. Mimi nataka niongee na viongozi wenzangu pamoja na wale wote mumebarikiwa katika Kenya hii na mko na fedha ama mko na nafasi ya ajira sisi wote tuliopata baraka ya kupata ajira ama kuwa na uwezo wa kifedha kwamba neno la Mungu kwa matayo askofu yuko hapa matayo 25 mstari wa 31 inasema kuna siku ya kiama tutasimama mbele ya Mungu. Sote sisi. You know, uwezo ya kila mtu wewe ukiwa hivi ama uko vile tutasimama mbele ya Mungu. Na pale tutakuwa na maswali. Na tutaulizwa wewe ulikuwa na uwezo kiwango fulani. Lakini hukutendea wale wengine kulingana na mahitaji yao na kuna watu wataenda jehanamu eh mujipange jameni munusurike jehanamu kwa sababu <laughs> kwa sababu neno la Mungu linasema Mungu ataeleza kuna watu watakuwa kwa upande wa kushoto sijui nyinyi mtakuwa upande gani mimi najitetea niwe upande wa kulia wale watakuwa upande wa kushoto wataambiwa nyinyi nilikuwa sina maji hamkunipatia ya kunywa nilikuwa mgonjwa hamkunishughulikia nilikuwa na njaa hamkunishughulikia hata utaambiwa nilikosa kazi lakini hukunishughulikia ndio sababu manifesto hii ya Kenya kwanza ni kuepuka ile siku ya kiyama kwa sababu kwa hii manifesto tunapanga vile tutazalisha chakula na mnaona vile tunapambana nataka niwahakishie tuko na mbolea ya kutosha kwa sababu 
as a country, we cannot continue to import food. Atuwezi kuendelea kuagiza chakula ambayo tunaweza kuzalisha hapa Kenya. Nataka tukisimama nyinyi mlio viongozi hapa na walio na uwezo. Tunataka tukisimama mbele ya Mungu tuseme tulizalisha chakula Kenya wale hawakuwa na chakula walipata chakula. Ya pili tunataka tusimame mbele ya Mungu nyinyi ambao tumesema tutoe 2.75% ya pesa yetu iende kwa matibabu. Kwa sababu tunataka hata yule ambaye hana uwezo wa kulipa bima ya afya katika ile sheria mpya tumepitisha tumesema wale wananchi hawana uwezo wa kulipa bima ya afya serikali ya Kenya kupitia ushuru ya sisi tutawalipia tumekubali ya kwamba wale wenye uwezo wa chini ambao saa hizi wanalipa 500 kwa mwezi tutawapunguzia ije 300 tumesema wale ambao wako na magonjwa haya ya kansa ama saratani hypertension diabetes ambazo zinasumbua watu na inasababisha watu kuuza mali yao ili kuweza kugarimia mambo ya hospitali tumesema kama serikali kupitia kwa sheria mpya hakuna mkenya tena atauza mali yake kulipa gharama ya hospitali tutakuwa na hazina maalum ya kusimamia magonjwa kama haya kwa hivyo wewe ambaye uko na nafasi ya ajira wewe ambaye uko na nafasi ya uwezo usiwe mchoyo ukasema inakuhusu nini ati wewe uchangie tuweze kumlipia yule ambaye hana uwezo kuna mahali inakuhusu kwa sababu utasimama mbele ya Mungu siku moja utaambiwa wewe ulikuwa na uwezo ya ku contribute 2.7% ulikataa yule ambaye alikuwa mgonjwa hakusaidika we utaenda jehanamu. Mimi nimewapatia warning mapema. Sasa mujipange kutoka hapo. Tunataka siasa ya kuunganisha wananchi. Siasa ya kugawana kwa mirengo na ma, uh, you know clans na nini na nini haiwezi kutupeleka mbele. Na tayari tuko na kielelezo. Huyu tunai amechaguliwa kwa sababu ya uongozi alio nao sio kwa sababu ya jamii ametoka that is how we must look at leaders going into the future that is how we are going to have a country not based on ethnicity and division but based on unity and positive leadership we must work together in that manner mimi nataka tu niwahakikishie ya kwamba kama serikali tutathibitisha mambo ya usalama na tutafuata sheria haki itatendeka kwa kila mtu ili tuhakikisha kwamba kila mkenya haki yake inalindwa na sheria ya Kenya na pia tuombe kwa sababu usalama sio kazi ya polisi peke yao usalama kati yake ni sisi wote tujumuike nyinyi ndio mtatueleza wachochezi ni kina nani wakora ni kina nani wale ambao wanaleta fujo ni kina nani na mkitupatia habari hiyo wale watu tutapambana na wao na tutahakikisha kwamba sheria imefuatwa na kila mtu pasipo kujali yeye ni wa umri gani yanatoka jamii gani ako na uwezo wa kiasi gani sisi wote ni kiwango kimoja chini ya sheria ya Kenya all citizens are equal before the law pia mimi nataka ni eh, waeleze ndugu zangu viongozi wenzangu wa bunge tunalete mapendekezo katika bunge la kitaifa na bunge la seneti ya vile tumepanga mambo ya uchumi saa hizi tunaendelea na mjadala there is still and i want to tell my colleagues uh, members of parliament because mama here was a very prudent person there is still a lot of wastage in government and we must deal with it 
there are still many corporations, many government agencies that are not spending money as appropriately as they should. And in this year's budget, we're going to be very keen, and I want to ask members of parliament to work with us so that where we don't need money, where institutions can support their own budgets, we don't give them additional resources, but we make sure that we deploy every coin in Kenya appropriately and make sure that we are accountable in making sure that the resources of Kenya are spent properly. I must congratulate many counties who are working with us in making sure that they discharge their responsibility well. Mm -hmm.